Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I've got to be quiet in this video as it's 4am. Today's video is going to be a how to make gaming text in 2021. It's not currently 2021, I'm bluffing you guys. But I'm going to be making it 2021 anyway because this video is just saying 2020. As we've only got a couple days left, so yeah. I can already see you in the comments, mate. Get the f out. I've got the font here that I'm using. Use any font you want. Right, so now you've got downloaded the font. I'm pretty sure it's on your computer already if you just type that in. Um, I have not downloaded any fonts. This is my new computer. Right. So, I used plain white. Sorry if you can hear my mouse click because my I can't afford a f***ing Mike Sandra. Right, so now we have this in here. What I did was I controlled J. Make sure you guys listen very carefully. Control T. And this thing up here, we're going to change to 99%. And then click check. Make sure you click check mark. Now, we're going to click Control Shift. So make sure you hold these down to your button, press it. If it's not making new layers, it's not working. Right, here we go. Control Shift, Alt, J, and T. Spam it about nine or ten times. Just look at your design. If it looks like this, let me show you guys real quick. If it looks like that's too much. So I usually go around ten or twelve. So I'll go uh, to eleven, me in the middle. Uh, ten, actually. Nine, actually. <laughs> right, so we're going to hold Shift. If you don't hold shift, so just do this. So we're gonna hold shift. And everything that says copy, so not this, because it's the, uh, that's what we want at the front. All of these, we're gonna put below. Control J, which groups it. Text. And we're gonna click Control E. This is our behind text, so. What I did with this was make the lightness go down. Because if you keep this up, it just looks like, what the fuck's that? So, just turn that down. I'm not sure. What about the your guys design your personal preference? So no, I don't always stay up to 4 a.m. Here we go. It's a good to start. Now what I did was made a new layer, and then I could uh, right click, create clip mask, or if you're too lazy to do that like me, hold Alt. When this thing comes up, click. And now what that will do is you can't draw anywhere else but what you clip a mask into. So if I take it off, I can draw here. If I put it on, I can't draw it. Just here. Alright, so <laughs> hopefully that explains what that is. Now, if your brush, if you right click um, when you're in the brush tool uh, and your hardness is like this, it will look like uh, it will look like this. We want a nice soft brush like this. I'm going to make this a bit darker actually. So, Control U, and that brings it up. I'm going to make it a bit darker like that. So, I'm going to speed this up, guys, but. All you do is draw a little bit of white, like so. It's like in areas that you think would look good. So not not something like this. Don't do that. I'm talking about just like simply go around and just do a small effect. And if drawing like this goes on the other text here, if I was drawing like I can't really explain it, but I was drawing here and it goes here, then I would simply race race so yeah All right we speed this up guys this we're going to go to this is the adjustments there if you don't have this code window go to adjustments here and it will come up we're going to click photo filter i'm going to go to blue make sure it's clipping whilst i'm into the under layer i'm going to put that like so so it gives a sort of effect I'm actually going to go something like this. Because right here, it's just grey. I'm going to make that a little blue. Right, so the next thing I did was go click P on your keyboard, which comes up with the pen tool. If yours looks like this, let's click that. Don't know why you'd want less space. <laughs> so yeah, do that. And we're going to make this text bigger real quick by holding, uh, by clicking Control T 
holding out. If you don't hold out, it goes like that. The hold out on uh, the text there, the proper text there. We're going to click P and we're going to make this sort of shape. So, like this, which you just literally click up here, drag. And it's nothing hard. You might have to zoom out a bit. Literally, not rocket science. Just click up here, drag. Hold out, click that. I'm just going to click up. Make a new layer, click the mask in. Then you get a nice blue colour because I did blue, if yours is red, get a nice red. Get a nice blue. Clip the mask here. Make the opacity a bit lower. The opacity is just how much you see it, basically. And I'm going to click uh, Control T on my keyboard, which brings this up. We're going to go to here, which uh, self external you just drag it and it moves. It creates a nice shape. I'm really bad at speaking, I don't know why I do tutorials. We're going to hold Alt, which duplicates it. If you don't hold out, does that hold out duplicates? We're gonna put it down here. Right click, flip horizontal, flip vertical. Because we're too lazy to flip it around ourselves. And then we make this sort of effect. We're gonna hit control, click on both, so they both have the same opacity. We're gonna decide one because I don't know what we're gonna do yet. which can we do that and I don't like how this is too white so we're going to make a new layer and we're going to fill some of it with this sort of colour I have a dark blue sort of light I don't know I really should not be a designer I'm going to make another layer for the top um, I'm just going to do sort of like this Small brush on the top. Maybe pass it about 40. Just that blends in with the whole sort of text. Now what we're gonna do is control click on the back in there, so I'll control click on this, this image here. What we're gonna do is we are going to click select, modify, and expand. Which will expand the text. I already have a default design as I actually just did this. So expand it by 9, make a layer underneath it. I'm going to get the same colour as here. If you want to copy me, colour is here. Just type that in, it'll come up the exact same. Oh, backspace, which does this. And what I did was click here on my keyboard again, make this straight, control enter, which uh, does this. When it comes up the jaggedy lines, that means it's done. You can draw. If it doesn't, it goes outside. But when it does the jaggedy lines, you can't go outside. It's simple. <laughs> Make new layer, it's gonna go a bit darker so you can see it, or lighter, whatever you guys want. It's gonna draw, it'll look weird because you haven't clipped a mask yet. That's what we're gonna do now. See, I like this sort of effect, and I did it quite up, up here. So I did it here, and I probably made the opacity like 40. Just a slight effect, there's nothing big. You can see I did it here. There goes a lot now, you can see that. On here, I don't like the S I did, but this isn't client work. I've done my thing up here. But yeah, guys, if you want a PSD in the link down below, 30 likes. My, my fucking last video got 35 likes. I'm struggling to speak. I feel drunk. <laughs> Everything is spiraling in my head right now. This tutorial was very important to get out. I have not uploaded it in a while. My channel is dead still. Nothing's changed. <laughs> If you want to add more effects to it, watch my watch my last video. I'll link it in the end screen. So watch through the end or click at the end. So yeah, subscribe and like. Peace out. <laughs> nah, uh, all jokes aside, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, it's 20 minutes tutorial almost. It's gonna be cut down to about 10 minutes because I stutter a lot. Uh, if I honestly uploaded a video without editing, the video would be hours long. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.